Good to go? Yep. All good? Yeah. Well, good morning and, and welcome. Um, it's New Year's Eve already. Um, who would have thought that two years in a row we'd have New Year's Eve impacted by COVID-19? Um, but it is. And uh, a lot of the, the traditional uh, events that we'd go to have been closed down. Uh, a lot of the fireworks are, are not on this week. Um, but nonetheless, there's still a, a, a police operation across the state to um, police the, the uh, events that are on. Um, and of course, today we've got the, the big bash here at Adelaide Oval. Uh, there's fireworks at, at Rymel Park, albeit much smaller than we'd normally anticipate. The, uh, the, the message that I'm um, bringing to everybody today is that uh, the police are asking two things of people. One is to be responsible and two, to be respectful. We expect, expect people to go out, we expect people to have a good time and uh, there's no reason not to. But we are living in a COVID world and we do need to maintain our social distancing and we do need to try and, and, and uh, ensure that we don't um, infect other people any more than uh, is, is going to likely to happen anyway. So um, there, are, there are some obvious things going on tonight um, and people will be uh, tempted to uh, uh, drink and drive. We're asking people not to drink and drive. Uh, from five o'clock tonight, tra public transport is free. Uh, if you intend to drink, please don't take your car. Use an alternative, whether it's public transport, taxis or Ubers, that's up to you, but please don't drink and drive. If uh, you're out and about, um, please look after your friends. Uh, the last thing that we want you to do is to go home and leave, leave your friends behind because the, when you leave them behind, that's when something will go wrong and we don't want that to happen to anybody. We'll, we'll be out in force as usual. There will be police on public transport. There will be police in all the major uh, hubs around the, around the state and we'll be monitoring uh, that centrally uh, for the whole night. Um, I'm happy to take questions. Look, um, we're, we're not going to be knocking on everybody's door and counting how many people you've got at your house. But it is the, the, the restrictions are for 10 people at home. Um, we're asking people to do that. It's for your own safety. It's for the safety of your loved ones to, to maintain that, that, uh, that small number of 10. Um, what will bring people unstuck is if they have a, a large party and the neighbours complain, we will turn up, we will count and we will take action if, if you're flaunting the rules. We just ask you to do the right thing. And that comes back to being responsible and acting respectfully to your neighbours and your friends. And how big a challenge is it to make sure that, that everyone does the right thing? And that, that the cricket's one of the biggest tests in terms of numbers since we've seen real, real, real social cases. Yeah. Look, absolutely, the big bash is going to go on. It's a, it's a family night. It's always a, a night that people enjoy. Um, there are restrictions on and requirements to wear masks while you're moving around. Um, we're, we're asking people to do that. We expect that people will. Um, my, my own experience over the Christmas break has been that people are generally wearing their masks. Um, people are quite rightly concerned about uh, the, the Omicron variant and what it's, what it's doing to uh, South Australia. I, I, I understand we have something like 7,000 active cases in the state now and they're the ones we know about. Um, it is endemic to South Australia. It is uh, all pervasive now and uh, it's, it's up to everybody to do the right thing and wear their masks and keep their social distancing uh, and, and, and look after each other. Um, are police expecting um, large numbers out in public areas tonight? We, we're, not, we're not expecting the, the big crowds that we would have uh, if there was no COVID around, but we are expecting people to get out. It's, it's, it's 39 degrees today. It's going to be about 27 degrees at midnight. It, it is going to be a good night for people to enjoy themselves. But we just ask that you, you, you do it in a COVID safe way. And we're not going to be measuring the distance between people, but um, we, we are going to be out and we are going to remind people if, if they are in, in uh, large groups and, and they're ignore, ignoring all the requirements. Are you hopeful for a quieter New Year's than, than normal without the best case scenario, given the importance of people being safe? Yeah, look, I think so. I, I think that if, if people um, do uh, try to enjoy themselves but don't go overboard, that would be the best outcome for us. You know, we, 
we want people to have a good time. We're, you know, we've, we've had uh, a hard two years and, and there's no reason why people can't celebrate the, the new year. They just have to do it keeping in mind that, um, that, that COVID is there and it, it could end up being uh, a super spreader event if everybody just ignores all the rules. Yeah, look, we're very concerned about the, the number of cars that are being stolen and the and the speeds that, that uh, these these offenders are doing in the cars and and on motorbikes. Um, uh, I, I can tell you that uh, we've got a, a, an added presence of police helicopter at the moment, um, who, uh, who which is being instrumental in in, in tracking these car, cars and bikes and leading police to make these arrests. Um, you know. People who are considering engaging in high-speed pursuits with police need to understand that we do have air assets in, up there. They are watching them, and we will catch you if you do it. So just don't do it. It's not worth it. Ambulance. Cheers. everybody to have a great time. We don't want you to spend the back of the ambulance. So um, please be safe uh, and look out for each other. And uh, But don't hesitate to call for help if necessary. With the hot weather, we're going to need to be very cautious. So we need to um, make sure that you hydrate. Alcohol will dehydrate you if you just drink alcohol. So you need to drink plenty of water. You also need to know your limits and understand to what point that, uh, that you can drink. But we do, um, we do understand that people are going to be out and about trying to celebrate and make the most of what's support that and we have extra crews across the system, extra resources available to respond so if you do find that you need an ambulance please do call us. Is there um, a concern about um, ambulance safety uh, coming up considering we have hot weather, we have frustrations from COVID, we have a few rules down the beach. So that, that's what we've been planning for. We know that the major events are occurring, uh, so there won't be the you know, large congregations of people, which is a quite a different response model to what we would have uh, when we're having small parties uh, around. We have extra resources on, we have single response units available, we have a good statewide coverage, so we also have a, a lot of good intelligence, we get a lot of good intelligence from the state also. We Very difficult to tell. Uh, New Year's Eve is, is consistently our busiest night of the year, so we know that we are going to be um, quite busy. Our crews are prepared for that, they're well trained, uh, and we're trying to provide for their safety, providing them with drinks and 
Sussanese and so forth. Um, so we know that it's going to be busy, it's just um, we, we'll have an incident management team running that will be able to identify when there are issues occurring and how we respond to that and how we deal with that. Um, but we know that it will be busy and we're going into, into tonight planning for that moment. What is it that usually makes it so busy? If you've got an air conditioner, you should be using it. If you've got a fan, you should be using it. If you don't need to be out, you should be out. Of so this will be able to certainly control those effects. It impact. It doesn't have the number of problems. It has an impact on some of the people who are less able to look after themselves. So we also recommend that if you can, um, try and keep an eye on relatives and people who might be a bit more involved in the community. Check in on them. Check that they've got